Welcome to the Freedom Edge Subcutaneous Administration video from RMS Medical Products. Some things to keep in mind. Infusion with the Freedom Edge is safe and simple. Thousands of patients have successfully mastered Sub-Q self-administration. No two patients are alike, so work with your care team to personalize your therapy for you. Some site irritation is normal. It should diminish with time. Longer needles usually don't feel any different from short needles. In many cases, they work better and irritate less. With time, you'll discover which sites work best for you. With the support of your clinical care team, you can succeed. Sub-Q administration instructions for the Freedom Edge from the RMS Patient Information Guide. Step one, prepare area, lay out supplies. Clean your work area with alcohol or disinfectant soap and water. Verify that you have the correct supplies, including the tubing set, needle set, and syringe size recommended by your healthcare provider and lay them on a clean surface. Step two, wash hands. Wash hands thoroughly and if required, put on disposable gloves. Step three, fill syringe. Be sure the product is at room temperature before you begin filling the syringe with your required dose. Refer to the manufacturer's instructions or ask your provider for more detailed filling instructions. Step four, verify tubing and needles. Again, verify that you are using the correct tubing and needles recommended by your healthcare provider and prescribed by your doctor. Step five, attach syringe, tubing, and needles. Remove the sterile cap from the lure disc end of the precision flow rate tubing set and connect the tubing to the syringe. Remove the sterile caps from the ends of the high flow needle set and precision tubing set. Connect the sets together, using care not to contaminate the ends. Step six, priming needle set. Grasp the syringe and gently press down with a steady pressure. Watch the tubing fill and stop flow about two inches short of the needles. To minimize site irritation, it is recommended to insert the needles dry. Step seven, inserting needles. Select your sites, cleanse with alcohol and let dry. Carefully remove the shield from the needle tip without touching the needle. Pinch the skin and insert each needle into subcutaneous tissue. Secure each site with adhesive dressing. Step eight, check for blood return. Check for blood return by gently pulling back on the syringe plunger. Watch to make sure no red or pink appears in the tubing near your sites. If blood return does exist, clamp the flow to that site and call your healthcare provider to determine if the dose can be run using the remaining sites. If so, continue. If not, Remove all needles, attach a new needle set, and start again from step six. Step nine, opening the pump. To open the pump, confirm Freedom Edge is fully extended. Then, open fully by lifting the top cover. Step 10, loading the prepared syringe. Load the syringe into the pump, plunger end first. If needed, pull back on the syringe locator to help seat the lure disc into the nose of the pump. The syringe should sit in front of the locator. Step 11, begin infusion. Start the infusion by closing the pump. The infusion will begin immediately. To pause the infusion at any time, simply open the pump. To continue the infusion, reclose the top lid. When closing the pump, make sure that the top lid is fully extended and aligns with the bottom portion of the pump. Step 12, upon completing infusion. Once the infusion is complete, open the pump and remove the syringe. For best results, wait a few minutes after the infusion completes before you remove your needles. 
This will allow pressure to equalize at the infusion sites and prevent backflow of your medication. One at a time, hold each needle in place and peel back any adhesive or dressing around it. Remove the needle in a straight motion, opposite the direction you inserted it. Remove all needles from the syringe. Cleanse each site and cover with a bandage. Discard all sharps and biologics as required. Important reminders. You can replay this video as often as you like. Always make sure you have all the supplies you need and that they're the right ones. Always wash your hands thoroughly and use a clean preparation surface. Always check for blood backflow. You will never need to use force to load or remove a syringe. Never begin an infusion unless you're certain the disc lure is firmly seated in the pump. If your sterile supplies might be contaminated, start again with new supplies. You can stop the infusion at any time by fully opening the Freedom Edge lid.